All right. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing good out there on this Friday. Hopefully, also, you can see the workout in the chat. So you can reference that if you need to today. And we'll get started. We'll get moving on this Friday morning. Lots of good stuff on the Friday. It seems like the Friday, they really try to keep you moving the whole workout and just get you sweaty to send you off into your weekend. So we'll try to just get right to it. We're going to start with your daily five. Starts with that choice. So you can pick for the first two minutes today, two minutes of your choice to start today. And you know the drill, get on that machine, take some laps around your living room, jumping jack step ups, maybe you have a jump rope, anything you wanna do for two minutes and you can totally mix and match. Then we're gonna go straight into as many rounds as you can for three minutes of some dumbbell bent over rows. And so remember as you do these bent rows, you wanna keep your butt back, hips high, back flat, midline tight, and then you're going to use one dumbbell or two, whatever you want, to just pull that dumbbell up to your chest, nice and slow and steady for 10 reps. <clears throat> and then you're going to go ahead and set that dumbbell on the ground. And we're going to do some sideways jumps over your dumbbell. If you're not ready to jump yet this morning, steps are totally great. <laughs> so that's fine. And then you're going to do eight of those. So 10 of your bent rows, eight of your jumps. And then we're going to do three per side or six total of single dumbbell, single arm dumbbell deadlifts. And so you have the dumbbell at your side. And just like with your bent over row, you're going to keep your hips high and back. And you're going to hinge forward down towards the ground for three reps. And then you'll switch arms and do three on the other side. And again, keeping, sending your butt back, hips high, shoulder blades down and back, nice flat back, tight midline. And again, for the last three minutes, you'll just have that time to do as many rounds of that as you like. So there's no pressure to finish all that in one minute. Like there is sometimes, so you can just move at your own pace after those two minutes of your choice through the bent over row, the lateral jump overs and the deadlifts. Ready? Let's move on a Friday. All right, we'll start in 10 seconds. And whatever you want for these first two minutes, your choice. Go! And we're off on that Friday workout. Yeah, great work. Sorry, I'm just up here at my whiteboard making some notes so I can more smoothly move through the rest. And y'all are doing great. Off on your cardio choice, getting moving today at your own pace. And we've got one minute left for your choice. One more minute. All right, 30 more seconds to keep cruising through your choice. And then we're gonna go into that three minute AMRAP of bent over rows, lateral jumps and deadlifts. 15 more seconds. <laughs> three, two, one, and then we'll go into that three minute AMRAP starting with the bent over row, 10 bent row. And 
And after you get done with those 10 bent over rows, You'll go into those lateral jumps over your dumbbell and finish with three per side single arm deadlifts. <clears throat> yeah, nice job. Everyone's got some sunshine coming in. Oh my gosh, the past this past week I've been like bolting out of bed at like 5 a.m. because it's all sunny. I'm just like, what time is it? <laughs> thinking I ever slept, but it's nice to wake up with the sun up. Two more minutes for some bent row, lateral jumps over the dumbbell, and single arm dumbbell deadlifts. Nice job. 40 more seconds for this AMRAP. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Made it through that daily five. And of course, if you need to keep stretching out or warm it up as I explain the next part, you totally can. But otherwise, you know, get a sip of water and maybe find those crunchy areas and get some stretching in if you like. Um, but we're going to go into some strength work next, and then we'll go into some of that pacing stuff um, on the Fridays. I know that we do a little bit of work on pacing and trying to sprint at repeated times or work your pace up. So that'll be after our strength work for today. And I know yesterday we talked a lot about how our shoulders were really tired, and we have some more pressing and rowing on tap today. And if you want me to give you some other movements because your shoulders are just really dead from this week, then we can totally do that. So don't feel like you have to stick with these bent rows and stretch press if you're um, feeling ouchy in the shoulder thoracic spine area. But we'll start with the we'll start with some staggered stance deadlifts. And so a staggered stance deadlift, you take a step forward, step back, but this is not as big as a lunge stance. It's pretty much just like a walking step. So not very big of a step. And the goal here is to softly bend your knees, but try to keep your legs straight as you send your hips back and hinge forward, just like you're doing those deadlifts um, in the warm up. And so if you want to use one dumbbell, you'll just hold both ends and hinge forward, keeping that back flat, <clears throat> shoulder blades down and back, hips high. And again, keeping that midline tight so you're not arching your back. And we're going to do six, and then we'll switch your stance and do six again. And it's also totally cool to be doing this with two dumbbells. You'll just hold those um, one on each side. Bowing forward, keeping nice, nice tight midline, hips high, shoulders down and back. And you're going to do 6%. And again, if your legs are a little bit bendy, that's okay, but keep them soft and try to keep them mostly straight. <laughs> and then we're going to do some bent row, just like in the warm up. And so you can do these also with two dumbbells or one. And so you're going to keep your hips high. But back, shoulders down and back, and you're just gonna pull those dumbbells up to your chest. And remember thinking elbows down and back. So you're really using that big muscle on your back to hug those dumbbells up to your chest rather than kind of like 
pulling them up with your shoulders. So elbows down and back, hug those weights to your chest. And again, two dumbbells is great or one, also awesome. And we're gonna do eight reps of those now. So if you have the ability to go a little bit heavier than you were doing in the warm up, that's kind of the goal here. Um, if not, then you can try to like hold for one at the top or something to keep it a little bit spicy for your strength work. And then we're gonna finish it off with 10 strict press. And so one dumbbell or two, same thing. You can hold those that dumbbell at your chest, set up that strong foundation, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your midline, and then just pressing straight up overhead, nice and slow and steady. And we're gonna do 10 reps for that as well. Also, if you like don't wanna mix up the movements, but your shoulders are just feeling really tired from this week, you can always go light on this work today and that would be fine. Um, and if you'd rather just do some like squats and lunges or something because you've kind of been taking a little break on those the past few weeks, you can totally do that instead. Um, maybe even like a split squat could be a fun variation where you're taking the staggered stance a little bit wider than your staggered deadlift and just lowering your legs to the ground and standing back up again. You could do like six of those per side or something and really just take your legs instead of your shoulders if you want. <laughs> You, like weighted sit-ups would be another great mod where you can just like always kind of work on that midline strength even when your other body parts are sore <laughs> and also holler at me if you want something else there's plenty of stuff to do and I can definitely give you another idea but uh, we'll get started and the goal is to do a new set every three minutes so resting at the end of each set and um, starting a new set in three minutes so you're finishing the work in less than three minutes sorry is what I was trying to say there and we'll do four sets on the staggered um on the staggered deadlift Yes. It's like a huge stretch to my hands to go all the yep. way to the ground, of course. Um, yep, a great question. You don't need to go all the way to the ground. So just go to where you get to that resistance where in order to like get any lower, you would have to just use your back because your hamstrings are done. So don't use your back to get lower, keep your back flat. And if you're not getting all the way to the ground, that's fine. And also adding a soft bend in your knees. If you add a little bit more bend in your knees, you might be able to open up a deeper hinge in your back and you can do that too. <clears throat> Any other questions? You always have awesome questions out there. Thanks for asking. And again, holler at me whenever, but I'm going to start the clock just because I think we have a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> 10 more seconds. And if, totally, if you're not ready, you don't have to start. And again, yell at me if there's other stuff. But if you're ready, you can go. And it starts with those staggered stance deadlifts. Six per side or 12 total. And the way this workout was written, they said six on your right and then six on your left. But if it feels better to alternate and kind of like walk a little bit so you can like release that tension in your hamstring and go to the other side, you can totally do that too and alternate reps. Yeah, nice job. And then back to that bent row. And again, if you can go a little heavier now, that's totally cool. But if not, also fine. Any weight is good. <laughs> and especially if your shoulders are really feeling tired this week. So again, we're gonna do six per side of that staggered deadlift, eight bent row, and then 10 strict press. And we have 90 more seconds remaining in this round. And so again, the idea is to finish up and also have some rest. Oh yeah, pulling out the barbell for this one. That's great. This is a, definitely a good one to use the barbell if you, if you have one, may as well. So we've got one more minute in this set. And so again, getting some rest and we're gonna do it three more times. So maybe that first time through was kind of like your warm up set. Now you know how it feels to go through that strength work. And if you wanna make some adjustments to your weight or how many reps you were doing, that's totally cool. And just make sure you're having some time to rest in each round.
30 more seconds and we'll go into the next set. Nice to see you're all having some time to rest. That's great. I was um, a little sad when I saw the stretch press on there. I was like, no, their shoulders. <laughs> but I guess all of us are getting really strong shoulders with these dumbbells at home. 10 more seconds and we'll go into round number two. Three, two, one, round two. Those staggered stance deadlifts. A bent over row. Yeah. And the strict press. It's already nice and warm out. At least here where I am. <laughs> nice job, everybody. Two more minutes for this set. And try to move nice and steady through these. Especially controlling the descent on the presses and on the bent row. It's really good for those straight sets. <laughs> One more minute for this round. So some nice rest. Taking some water, those deep breaths, maybe a little stretch. <laughs> All right, 30 more seconds. And we're halfway done with the strength stuff. Fifteen seconds. All right, three, two, one. And time for round three, if you're feeling ready. And really focusing on that integrity of your back, you know, you're keeping your hips high, shoulders are down and back, midline's tight. So we're really bracing our spine on both sides as we do these deadlifts, these bent row, and then setting up a nice strong foundation, same thing, even on your strict press. Yeah, nice job.
Yeah, nice job, everybody. Move it nice and steady through this third round. Soaking up some rest. Before we go into the last set, we still got plenty of time to finish this one up and get some rest. And then again, I think on Fridays, especially because we throw a finisher in on, on the Fridays that you can wheel again to if you want. Um, we don't have as much time to take a long break, but when we're done with our strength work, we'll still kind of take a break as I go into the next part. But we probably won't have a chance for everyone to like say hi today. So um, if you want, we can like maybe check in in the chat and uh, you can let us know how you're doing today. <clears throat> and uh, I know we did pats on the back yesterday, but if you want to just give yourself a little pat on the back, a little shout out, you can put it in the chat. I think it's kind of fun to see our little shout outs for ourselves in there. 30 more seconds to rest in this round. And it's also kind of fun because I think it's like something we've been practicing is like being able to like give ourselves those shout outs because it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> 15 more seconds. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Last set of the strength work. So staying nice and steady, staying strong with those points of performance, making sure your midline's tight, hips are high. Making sure the last set is the best set because it means we're done and because you're keeping your form nice and tight. Nice work, great job. And this is that last round. So once you're done, you get to rest and take like a little bit longer of a break. And again, give yourself that shout out in the chat. And I'm gonna make sure to look through and see them all. It's hard for me to see the chat from back here, but before we, uh, before I leave, I wanna see all your shout outs. Um, Yesterday, first of all, I caught up with my videos. I think I told you yesterday, I was like, keep me accountable. I'm telling you all here right now, I'm gonna load my videos. And I did it. So that's gonna be my pat on the back. Also gave myself one extra pat on the back because I knew I would be driving around a bunch today. And I had like a quarter of a tank of gas and I never fill up my gas tank until the gas light's on. I'm totally that person. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I feel like everyone knows like, there's people who are like that and that's me. <laughs> when the gas light comes on, that's when I'm like, oh, I need gas. And uh, yesterday I went out and I filled up my tank because I knew I'd be driving around a bunch today and I'm always running late. And then I'm like, ah, my gas light's on. I'm, now I'm extra late. And so seriously responsible move on my part <laughs> to think ahead and fill up my tank of gas. So um, anyway, just any little shout out for yourself like that. Uh, go ahead and give it to you in the chat. And uh, also rest up a little bit once you finish your strength work. And um, I'll start kind of explaining the next part of our workout for today. And this is kind of a fun workout. Uh, when I read this, I was like, ooh, I want to try it. Uh, it looks fun. So the first five minutes are going to be an AMRAP. So in five minutes, you're going to try to do as many rounds as you can of some Russian swings and then up downs over your dumbbell. And uh, yes, I'm seeing some shout outs coming in in the chat. Thank you for putting those there. Okay, so you have five minutes to do 15 swings. And so you're gonna swing your dumbbell or if you have a kettlebell, you know, of course that's fine. Um, and you can either hold it by both ends or you can hold it by one end, you know, whatever way is more comfortable based on what your dumbbell is. And we're just gonna swing it out to eye level. And you're gonna do 15 swings. And then you're gonna set your dumbbell down and you're gonna go into that up down. Sorry, I'm gonna come to the other side so you can see me a little better. And so the up down, you'll drop into that plank. And then when you come up, you're just gonna jump over your dumbbell. Nice little sideways jump, kind of like in our warm up. And then you'll go back into the next up down, come up, jump over that dumbbell. 
And so you'll do 15 of the swings and then 10 of these up downs over your dumbbell. And so once you finish your up downs, just go right back to the swings. And you're gonna do five minutes, as many rounds as you can. Once the five minutes is up, we're gonna go into an EMOM. Every minute on the minute, you're gonna spend 45 seconds doing your cardio choice. And then we'll rest 15 seconds and we'll do that five times. And then we'll rest one more minute. And then we'll go back to the same AMRAP we started with. So first of all, you can just move and rest and move and rest like what I'm telling you to and just kind of zone out and get sweaty. And that's a really fun way to do workouts. Um, if you want, you can try to like keep count of how many rounds you do in that first AMRAP and try to like match it again in that second AMRAP. So you're kind of keeping up that same pace even after doing the sprint part in the middle. And the goal for the middle part is maybe not necessarily consistency and just going fast. And so maybe you can stay consistent and that's awesome, but maybe you go so fast on that first minute that you can't possibly repeat the same pace again. And that would be fine too. So we're really trying to get gassed during that second EMOM and then rest just one minute and go back into the same AMRAP we started with and trying to like maintain that same pace. So it sounds kind of grueling, but that's I like those workouts that have those little challenges in them if you want them. But I also like those workouts that you can just zone out and move and sweat when Charlie says. <laughs> and so you can take this either way. But it's going to start with five minutes of as many rounds as you can, 15 swings, 10 up downs over the dumbbell. And then during that one minute rest, I'll kind of get us into the next part so you don't have to remember all of it. <laughs> But are we ready for 15 swings plus 10 up downs? Yeah, maybe we're grabbing some other stuff that we need for that. All right, okay, are we ready to start? Okay. I'm not sure what our time is like. 10 seconds, and we're gonna go with 15 swings, 10 up downs over the dumbbell. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. All right, 15 swings, 10 up downs over the dumbbell. Yeah, nice. And so as you're doing these swings, really focus on pressing through your heels as you stand. And that's really gonna engage your glutes. And that's gonna take a little bit more pressure off your back because you got these nice big muscles on your butt. <laughs> and so we wanna try to use those. So really pressing your heels into the ground is gonna fire those glutes for you. <clears throat> and after 15 swings, 10 up downs. And you know, when you're standing up on your up downs, I like putting those heels down for these as well. Again, just really trying to engage your glutes as much as possible because they are some of our biggest muscles. And so they can be some of the most useful in order to take pressure off of our joints and ligaments and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, you're all off to a great pace. We're gonna keep going for four more minutes, just 15 swings, 10 up downs over the dumbbell. And again, if you wanna kind of keep track and stuff, you can, but otherwise you can just sweat and move. And, uh, Enjoy how strong your body is. Look how fit you are. You're doing great. Nice work, everybody. And let's keep the midline tight on the swings as well. Really don't want to be leaning back. Just standing straight up tall, heels down, midline tight. You're tucking that rib cage into your pot pants. <laughs> Just staying nice and tall without leaning back. Again, especially when we're working the posterior chain, we want to make sure we support your back as much as possible. Like those big glute muscles and those core muscles. Ever since we started walking around upright, put our spine in this really vulnerable position. So we always got to make sure we're supporting it as best as possible. And we're halfway through this first AMRAP and we get one minute to rest after, don't forget. <clears throat>
Yeah, great work. Nice job, nice job. Just keeping up that pace, nice work. Y'all are doing great. And just trying to move as much as you can for the next 90 seconds before we get a break. Excuse me. I swear, I already took the allergy medicine, but <laughs> this time of year is the worst for me for some reason. Almost summertime. One more minute. I feel like it gets better once everything really dries out, but can't breathe right now. <laughs> So good, keep moving, 40 more seconds. Thirty seconds. Nice job, nice job. 10 more seconds and then we're gonna get a break. Three, two, one. Okay, one minute break. And then we're gonna go into that every minute on the minute for another five minutes. You're gonna work for 45 seconds, rest for 15 seconds through your choice of movement. <laughs> And so the idea is that maybe it's like your machine or some step ups or maybe not up downs, <laughs> but jumping jacks or those dumbbell toe taps. That would be a great one um, where you're just kind of like tapping your dumbbell with one foot and then the other. <clears throat> and again, the idea here is just go fast for 45 seconds. You don't even need to count, just go hard. And then the next minute we'll start again. And it's okay if you start to get slower and slower because that means you were really going hard in the beginning. So that's fine here. Just try to go fast. In 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I see. Yes, jump rope for this is great. I was like, maybe I dare just wanted fresh air. And now I get it. You want to jump rope for this part. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice, good job. We're halfway, keep it up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds to rest. Three, two, one, go. Another 45 seconds. Yes, nice job. Yeah, great work. Twenty more seconds. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Nice, nice. Ten more seconds. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest. Great work. <clears throat> nice deep breath and we're back to it. Three, two, one, go. Nice job. Good work, everybody. Great job. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice job. Ten more seconds. Great. Yes. Keep pushing. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice. Good deep breath here. We're going to do this two more times. Three, two, one, go. Great job. Keep pushing here. Yes, nice job. Halfway. <laughs> Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice job. We'll do this one more time. And then you get a one minute break again. All right, last time through. Three, two, one, go. And again, try to get reps. Go fast, go fast, go fast. <laughs> nice job. Nice work. Yeah, keep it up. Moving, good job, good job, good job. Good. 10 more seconds. And again, we get a break after this. Three, two, one, rest. So we get a 15, that 15 seconds and an extra minute to rest. And then we're gonna go back to what we started with, that five minute AMRAP of 15 swings and 10 up downs over your dumbbell. And so yeah, take this minute to breathe. Try to keep your lungs as big as possible. In through your nose and out through your mouth can really help get that heart rate back down. And some walking also can help. And actually even like kneeling is a good way to like rest while keeping your lungs open. If you're kind of feeling like you're hunched over a little bit, you can kneel or even sit, you know, you can open up your lungs a little bit if you need to. Um, but hunching over just keeps your lungs small. So sit or kneel, in through your nose, out through your mouth, keeping that big chest. 20 more seconds to reset and we'll go into the five minute AMRAP. 10 seconds. All right, three, two, one. Go, 15 swings and 10 up downs over the dumbbell.
Yeah, nice work, everybody. <laughs> Just settling into this first minute. I'm gonna keep moving through your swings and your up downs. Four minutes left. Try to keep that same pace you had in the beginning. Yes, keep moving, doing so great. <clears throat> and really driving through those heels to keep your glutes working for you. And again, try to avoid leaning back at the top. Just stand straight up. Keep that midline tight, rib cage tucked in. <clears throat> Two minutes done, three left, doing great. Just keep cruising. Yeah, and if you need to take a short break, that's great. If you need to kind of slow down your pace for a little bit, that's fine, but really try to keep pushing here. We're halfway through with the five minute AMRAP. So we're almost to the end of this part. <laughs> All right, last two minutes. Yep, doing great, keep it up. So good, 90 seconds left, just keep moving. You're doing great. Just keep focusing on that breathing. Driving through your heels on those swings, keeping your midline tight and just getting those up downs done one at a time. <laughs> nice job. One minute remaining. Really nice. Yep. Just keep moving as much as you can. You got 45 more seconds to keep going. Get reps. Thirty more seconds. <clears throat> Doing great. Last 10 seconds, get some of the reps, keep it up. Three, two, one, time's up. Take a rest, nice job. All right, get some rest. A little water, some stretching that you need. And we do have a little finisher for today. And so if you want to stick around and do the finisher, that's you're up to you. <laughs> and of course, we got to hit those guns for the, <laughs> for the uh, last finisher again, of course. And uh, if you want to do some core or something instead, you could do like sit-ups and leg lifts as opposed to some more arm movements. Because I know we're really working our shoulders this week. <clears throat> 
And so what we'll do is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. So that's like Tabata style and we'll do eight rounds. And so sometimes when we do Tabata, we do like one movement and we just work through that one movement for eight rounds. This time we're gonna have two movements and we'll alternate between the two movements. And so we'll do eight rounds of two movements. So it'll take us eight minutes as opposed to just like the four minutes of a single movement Tabata. And so we'll do 20 seconds of work through the first movement, which is a bicep curl. And so you can do this with one dumbbell or two. Your arms are gonna start out straight and you're just gonna keep your elbows in tight and curl that dumbbell up to the front rack position. And so again, you can do this with one dumbbell, or if you have two dumbbells, you can put one in each hand and do the same thing, elbows pinned and just curling up to your shoulders. And you know, I'm gonna tell you to set a strong foundation, squeeze the ground with your feet, use your glutes and your midline to have a strong base. And so we're gonna do 45, twice, sorry, 45 was from earlier, 20 seconds of work through your bicep curl and then 10 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna do a tricep extension and you can do, there's actually a lot of versions of a tricep extension, but I'll just uh, show you the standing version. You can do it sitting, but so you're going to start with your dumbbell kind of behind your head like this, and you're just going to press your arms up straight to finish in that overhead position and then bring it back down again. And again, you can do the seated if you want. Otherwise, really make sure that you're squeezing your glutes, grabbing the ground with your feet, midline tight, rib cage tucked down. <clears throat> 20 seconds of bicep curls, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of tricep extensions, 10 second rest, and we'll repeat it eight times. Great. And again, if you want to give your shoulders a break, you could do like sit ups and leg lifts or something and get your midline instead. Okay, last part for today finisher in 10 seconds. Three. Two, one, go. So starting with those curls. And so we're really not trying not to use your hips here. So squeezing everything nice and tight, stable, and just using your shoulders or your biceps really to pull that dumbbell up into the front rack. Three, two, one, rest. And so again, 10 second break, and then we'll switch to the tricep extension. Three two, one, go. These used to be one of my favorite movements, like for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> like learned them when I was in high school or something. I just really liked doing them. <laughs> Ready, set, rest. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the three, two, one count down there. Okay, we'll go back to the bicep curls. Three, two, one, go. Yep, nice. Back to those curls. Oh, and I like one arm alternating. That's a good way to kind of get a little rest with each rep. I like that. Three, two, one, rest. Back to those super cool tricep extensions. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Back to those curls. Three, two, one, go. And really try to make sure you're relaxed through your neck as you're doing these curls. You really don't want to be shrugged up. So shoulder blades down and back. Keep breathing nice and relaxed. Three, two, one, rest. And back to those tricep extensions. And I see some variations on the tricep extension. That's great. You can do these seated or lying down. Three, two, one, go. Or standing is fun too. <laughs> really just focusing on extending that arm straight out. So extending your tricep. Three, two, one, rest. 
And we'll do some more curls. Three, two, one, go. Some nice bodybuilding to finish out the workout. That's always fun. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, tricep. Yeah, really nice. Three, two, one, rest. We're halfway. Back to the curls. In three, two, one, go. Yeah, nice job. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, hitting that tricep extension, nice job. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, great job. Back to those curls. Doing great. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, back to those triceps. Nice work, everybody. Keep thinking about that foundation. Nice tight through your midline. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we've got two more rounds. Doing great. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. We'll come back to the tricep extension. In three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. Last minute. We made it to the last minute here. Three, two, one, go. Very last minute of our session today. One more round of curls. And you made it through this shoulder week. Three, two, one, rest you know so you can at least give yourself that pat on the back that shout out for making it to this workout and grinding through three two one go grinding through all that shoulder work this week and sending you off into your weekend having your workout checked off your list three two one and rest. 
Nice job. Great work. Oh my gosh, that was so much. <laughs>